welcome back to the spider's web and as you can see in this video of this series we're going to be painting again from talisman this time it's a spy and he's going to be wearing very very dark clothes it's almost going to be painted a complete black almost but not quite because there's a little bit of flesh and a little bit of metallic colours as well to go on this so we're going to be having a little bit of fun I think okay so we're going to start off using something a little different and we're going to be using rat skin flesh for this fella and there's not much of this to use so I'm just going to put a little dollop on there A little dollop is a obviously technical term. It means a small amount. <laughs> and we're just going to oops, angle the camera a little so I can see what I'm looking at. I can't get just realised by the lights, the little lamp that I have here is shining in my eyes and I couldn't see what I was looking at. Okay, here we go. So it's, again, we can go all over the face. He has a little beard and a point, a little goat, a pointy goaty beard and a, a moustache that we can sort out. later on and we really could go and spray this completely black and then work from that but uh, don't want it either and it doesn't look as though no his hands are covered in gloves and whatever so I think that's about it, really. Right. Yep, there we are. And that's all the flesh that we can do for this fella. It's all the flesh and more besides. I'm just going to go over this little... Thing that he has. Okay, so let's get my <clears throat> now it's fun time because we're painting everything as I say black. So we'll need quite a bit of black on the palette. There we go. And on. Don't forget this is just going to be a um, base coat. We are going to be highlighting this with another colour and I'm not going to be painting over the fur cape that he has. I'm thinking that might be a very dark brownish colour. So I shall be mixing black in with a little bit of scorched earth not scorched earth, right oxide. It used to be scorched earth, I believe. But there's going to be black mixed in with purple, there's going to be black mixed in with brown, there's going to be black mixed in with every colour we use on this near enough. <laughs> Very, very dark colours. That's what we're wanting for this fella. Very, very dark colours. I have a little project that I am planning on. I know I have a couple of little projects that I say I'm planning on, but 
This particular one is one that's in my head at the moment. It's um, It stems from the fact that I've been recently watching videos from the channel Full Metal Matthew. The, um, the link for that channel is in the description box. And basically what it is, is he's been showing his videos of his gameplays of a game called Warhammer 40,000 Regicide from Steam. I have enjoyed watching those videos immensely. And just in case you don't know what Warhammer 45, well, Warhammer 40,000 Regicide actually is, it's basically Warhammer 40,000 Chess. Yes, chess. You have various space marines as chess pieces. Um, but it's not just classic chess you can play with it. There is also uh, specialised, uh, what you call it, uh, campaign missions that you can uh, take part in, which involve basically the rules of chess, but um, with a bit of a twist, because you don't use all of the actual um, pieces. Um, now at the moment on Steam it is available for £10 something or other, and but it's due for full release um, on the 26th of August, which is um, exactly with tomorrow, I believe. So, what happens after that, I don't know. However, it is a very, very fun game. Really enjoy playing it. As you know, I'm not a great Warhammer 40,000 fan. But, my little project is all to make myself a Warhammer 40,000 themed chessboard. So I can play Regicide for real. Now I have a couple of chessboards here. I've got a glass one, I've got a couple of wooden ones, but I don't want to use a, shall we say, classic chessboard. I want to do something That wouldn't look out of place in Warhammer 40,000. So I'm going to do it like it's on a, a broken down city. Or broken apart city, bombed out city, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to be using um, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh dear. Form core and various other bits and pieces to try and get through this and got some plaster mix as well to go over the um, the board and it's all going to hopefully lead to having a rather interesting time of playing this game. Now if you want another pieces well for the pawns you're talking the straight um, Tactical Marines, you know, the normal everyday one of the mill squad of Marines. Your Rooks are Terminators. The Assault Marines are Knights. The, um, <clears throat> now, in the, in the computer game, the um, Bishops are Oh, what are they called again? Um, Devastator Marines with the heavy bolters. The Queen is the Librarian and the King is the Sergeant. Um, with this you have the Orcs and I cannot for the life of me remember which ones or which for the Orcs have been busy doing the um, campaign and be using um, Blood Angel and Space Marines. Oh, sorry. Before I forget, I'm just putting down some Rhinox Hide onto the pallet. 
and this is going to be for the cape. So I'm going to try and make myself a um, a Warhammer 40,000 themed chessboard in the hope that I can get somebody to play um, and to start off uh, Warhammer 40,000 themed chess um, but hopefully we can work out how we can do it so that we can actually play the regicide because you don't just finish your move and then it's your opponent player's move. You have your move and then you've got an initiative stage where you can actually take pot shots at your opponent um, and equip uh, oh dear what are they called? Equip shields and use special um, equipment that you have and throw grenades etc etc so I'm going to be doing that and then making some barricades and stuff to go on it as well so that when we get to so I can we can sort something out hopefully and try and work out how we can get this game done and actually played properly rather than on a computer which could be interesting which could be really interesting um, so yeah, that's my a little project I have planned to do and I'm going to be starting that as soon as I have a little bit of time to devote to it um, at the moment I want to get these done um, I'm going to get the flat tidied up because a week on Saturday we have a games night. Scragger will be back along with my friends and neighbours Damien and Lee. Who was here for the game of Dixit that we had with my daughter. And because they're not really gamers, we're going to be looking at some um, simple non not very complicated games so haven't worked out exactly what yet there are two I definitely want to try hopefully we can get that done and um, hopefully this time we can actually uh, I can actually remember to sort out my video and not lose track of things because last time we started playing a game as a bit of a, a trial and then just got carried away and two hours later we're still playing that was Cards Against Humanity. We was really enjoying ourselves with that game. Um, but hopefully, we can keep things going and we can have some fun and show you how to play. Well, show you the basics of a few games rather than actually how to play it. Because the idea of our games night videos isn't to show you how to play the game. It's just it's just to show the game being played, really. It's um, it's interesting. I'm thinking of actually having a um, not so much like an interview, but uh, like an after-game chat. Well, we've been doing these. To see what get the thoughts of the others who are playing it, um, but we'll see. We'll see. So I have a couple of things on the go, and um, hopefully we'll get. Oops, sorry, I'm just going off camera. What I'm doing here is just making sure that all the black areas that I want black is actually black. Um, I need to go over a couple of more areas of the brown. All well, these been incredibly dark colours we can actually see now where we've missed. And uh, we can go over 
without having to wait till it dries properly. Um, and that is basically that. I'm also, I'm also going to go over this little eye lens thing with the, the brown. I don't know what these are called. If anyone has a, an idea. It's not a monocle. I think that's just held by the eye socket itself. Um, it's a monocle on a stick. <laughs> I suppose the best way of describing it. Okay, so there we have the base coating all done. Um, yes, he's got that little tash and pointy goatee beard. We're going to be going over that. Oops, a little bit of miss there on the feather at the back here. Um, we will be going over that later. I want to make sure the, the flesh is done properly first. Um, that is just something that we can uh, sort out at a later time. And there we are. It's There. Now, um, going back to my regicide clan, I have been looking through my salamander's army. I only have one Devastator Marine with a um, heavy bolter. And I forgot to mention as well, the um, Terminators in the actual computer game are equipped, basically, with um, the assault cannon and... Um, the power glove. So I've ordered another, um, I found it, uh, on eBay a heavy bolter marine um, for sale. So I've bought that and I've found a few um, terminators which are equipped correctly. So I've ordered those as well. So hopefully they will be coming very soon. And uh, I can get painting those, and once they're painted, I can get cracking with making the actual board itself. Um, so, when I start making the board, I'll be uh, doing little video bits to show you. I'm taking photos on the way as I'm doing it. Uh, keep you informed of what's happening. I've just broke, just taken a chunk out of my nail. Um, now, how's this looking? Is it almost dry? In the deep areas, yes, it's dry, near enough. But we're not looking in the deep areas, we are looking in the fleshy areas. And for this character, I'm going to use something a little different for a wash. Um, we're not looking at your normal um, browns, reddish colours. We're going with Gucci Violet. Oh, I don't have much of this left. I'm going to have to get some more. This was the other thing I needed, which I couldn't remember when I was actually there the other week when I bought some more paints. Oh well, never mind. So we're going to be popping this on here. To pick out... Some of the detail, and we have a little bit of detail here, but not again a vast amount, so it's not going to be an incredibly good face to work on, much like the uh, elementalist. Oh well, um, so I'm waiting for that to dry. Let's have a look. That's his card. Here we go, there he is. Um, you've got his special abilities here. And also, as you can see, his alignment is evil. 
and I can start anywhere which has which contains another character so that's interesting I have no set start in place hmm. okay so what I'm going to do now is using we're going to get going with something a little different and we're doing a little bit of dry brushing but strangely enough we're going with a darker colour rather than a lighter one we are going with Abaddon Black okay straight out of the pot a very small amount of paint on the brush and we're just going to go over some of these areas here because we don't want him looking as though he's um, in fact I really could have painted everything black and then dry brushed over with brown but I want to do something a little different with this chap <laughs> as you can possibly tell okay so next we're going to be using um, now I said we're going to be using the purple so look is that the darker one yes it is we're using Zarius purple for this stage and the Zarius purple is going to be put where I put the black because I want a very very dark purple colour so I want such a deep purple it's going to start sending smoke on the water and with this we're going to be adding highlights like so and again we're not looking to cover everywhere we're just looking to cover the raised areas and if you can't see this purple it doesn't matter at the moment because this is not going to be the final highlight that we're going to be putting on this character um, I'm just going to dry brush, I'll dry brush as much as I can over this. Um, and so on the, the hat as well. There we go. And the feather. It's like a, a dry brush, even up all over. It's a little bit wetter than a dry brush, it's just a case of getting some colour other than black on the go. I'm going to be going back over anyway very soon with um, another colour of them. Um, purple, another shade of purple, but I think we're going to have to leave it there for the time being, in fact we don't have to, we can carry on, because what I'm going to do now is add some Steel Legion Drab into the mix, and this is going to be um, actually mixed in with some brown, but I don't want this 
on the actual wet pellets because I want this as a as a dry mix because this is going to be a um, highlight colour. This is going to be the highlight colour for the um, for the fur cake. And it's not a terribly bright colour as yet. I might have a little bit of screaming skull into the mix. Which is that um, looks a little better. And as I say, it's going to be a dry brush, so better get my dry brush out. Make sure it is dry. Yes, get it on the brush, into the bristles, and then wipe it off. And then we can just go over the raised areas. Of this character's cape. You're not going to see much of this, it's not a very bright colour. We don't want it a very bright colour. But this guy is quite dark. In fact, I'm just going to add a little bit more Screaming Skull into the mix. Just that little bit pale, well, quite a bit pale actually. This one is going to be on the very raised areas. Like so. looking much better. Yes indeed. Oh, that's that. Okay so I said we're going to have a lighter shade of purple on the go so let's add some more of the Zerius purple in with this purpley mix. We want it slightly lighter. We do not want it a really vivid purple. So we're not looking for anything really strong. This might be as bright as we're going. We'll find out in a second. So we don't want it really bright. This is about it. Yes, I do like this. And the fact that we're not using a lot of washes on this character means that we can just keep keep going. And getting with the job done. There we go. We have a we have almost everything finished now. He's not so a set a very bright colour. Oh he actually is um Here's a spy supposed to blend into the background and into the shadows, so that's why he's very, very um, inconspicuous, shall we say. So, next colour we're going to be using is going to be our old faithful 
Warplock bronze. This is going to be used straight out of the pots using our fine detail brush because we want a very good point on this because I'm we're doing fine details now. And it's going to be going on there. The buttons. This canister here, the problem puts all his information in. Yeah. He finds there we are. And after that, we're going to be using. Another metallic colour to um, highlight that, but we can't do anything more with him until the wash is dried, so we're going to have to give a little time for that. So, uh, what I am going to do first, though, before I forget, is get some of the Abaddon Black and go around the boots again because looking at one of the boots. It's not looking covered. In fact, if I try and bend that forward a little bit, I can get underneath and make sure everything uh, is covered. That's better. And I'll bend back. If I didn't catch anything then, I didn't. There we are. And there is our spy almost complete. As I say, it's just a case of waiting for the wash to wash to dry and then we can come back and finish all the detailing. Um, so while um, we're waiting for that, what I'm going to do is uh, sand the base sorted out but uh let's give it a couple of seconds a couple of minutes to get the loops to down more time to dry.